Hey, what's up everyone? It's Jay with The Thrifty Flamingo, and today we're going to be talking about bolos, specifically denim bolos. Over the next three weeks, I'm going to do a series of bolo videos. Today we're going to be talking about denim, and then we're going to do sweaters, and then we're going to do shirts throughout the next three weeks, and we're going to get a good group of bolos going. So if you guys are new here, definitely consider subscribing to our channel. Me and my wife talk about reselling and Poshmark in general all the time on this channel. We do videos every week and we go live on Fridays. Now, if you stick around to the end of the video, I'm gonna show you one pair of jeans where if you're lucky enough to find a pair in the wild, you could sell these jeans for upwards of 250 to sometimes even $500. So these are really awesome jeans and you're gonna to wanna to keep an eye out for these. So I've separated this video into three sections. We're gonna talk about low end, mid range, and high end denim. We're going to get started with low-end denim first. Now, low-end denim, I typically price between $45 and $55, and I will sell at around $20 to $35. So that's my low-end denim pricing and what I would be comfortable accepting with that. So the first brand I have on the list is Buffalo by David Bitten. I've talked about Buffalo before. They're really solid jeans, and um, they have great embellishments to them. They feature some metal um, embellishments and a nice design on the back pocket to give it a really high, high, high price looking jean at a good price. And these will typically sell for around $30. Next, we're going to move into the Echo jeans. Now, Echo is a brand that sells well, um, sells well for me. Every time I picked up Echo, I've sold them. Now, my prices for Echo are a little different. I got lucky enough to sell one pair of Echoes that I'm showing you today at $52. So they sold for full price, but you can expect Again, around $25 to $35 for these, and you want to look for the ones that have colorful, bright, embroidered back pockets and stuff like that. That's going to sell very well for Echo, so keep an eye out for that kind of denim when you're looking for Echo, and you'll be able to sell them very well. Next up is Lucky Brand. Lucky Brand does very well. Lucky Brand are a good, solid, mid-range jean. They, they retail for about $105. Again, you can expect a return of anywhere between $25 and $35, depending on what you price them at and what quality of the jean you have. So keep an eye out for those with Lucky Brand and you'll do very well with them. Next in the low-end category is a classic, a staple. you got to have it in your closet. If you don't, you should definitely pick up a pair of Levi's. Levi's in any style will sell. And again, probably around $25 for Levi's. You're not going to go much higher than that. Um, I have sold a couple of Levi's a little higher than that, but again, because of my pricing strategies, and they were um, skinny jeans, and they were distressed. So if they have factory distressing or they're skinny, those are the two trends that are hot right now. So those are going to sell your Levi's for a little bit more profit than just an average pair of 505s or 514s or something like that. We have three more low-end denims in the, on this list, and we're going to go through them fairly quickly. The next one I want to talk about is William Rast Denim. This is a denim line put out by Justin Timberlake. They're good quality solid jeans. They do retail for a fairly high dollar, but they're on the low end list because I haven't been able to get more than $35 out of a pair of William Rass, so I wanted to put them in this list and definitely pick them up. Just know that you're probably not going to sell them for more than $35. Next, we have American Eagle. And again, American Eagle is one of those jeans where I think they retail for about $45, and that's usually what I price them at. I price them at $45. Um, they're a pair of jeans that the younger crowd's going to want. They're going to want these American Eagle jeans. They're um, trendy with high school, maybe even in the college level. They're going to want to pick those up. Again, American Eagle, you're probably not going to get more than $25 for. Uh, some things to look out for are factory distressing and skinny jeans. Again, those are the two trends that are hot right now, so you want to keep an eye out for those. And the last pair of jeans on the low-end list is Hollister. Again, Hollister is one of those brands, just like American Eagle, younger crowd's going to look at these and they're going to want to buy these. Hollister can go for a little more than American Eagle, though. Um, they're a little better quality, and they I've sold pairs of Hollisters upwards of $30, $35 before, depending on the trend. Still in the low-end category, but definitely on the higher end of low-end jeans. So that's going to do it for low-end. We're going to move right into mid-range next, and mid-range jeans, I priced it anywhere between $75 and $95 and I will sell at between $30 and $55. Sometimes they sell at full price and that's great, but other times I'll accept offers at around $55 to, 35, to uh, $40 or $35. So the first one on the list is gonna be Seven for All Mankind. We talk about Seven for All Mankind all the time. They are a great quality pair of denim right in the mid range. You can get anywhere between $40 and $50 for them depending on the cut and style. The best pair of jeans to look out for in the Seven for All Mankind umbrella is going to be the A Pockets or any pair of Seven for All Mankinds with a unique back pocket design. They have zigzags and A's and 
all kinds of interesting embroidered designs on their back pockets. If you can find a pair of those, you're going to do very well with them. Moving right on, we have Adriana Goldschmied. Adriana Goldschmied does exceptionally well, and you can expect to sell them between 35 and 55 as well. I usually sell my AGs around 40 to 50, and any style is going to do well in AGs. These are jeans that, that uh, the older crowd is going to want to wear. So, you know, more of the 20s and 30s crowd that's going to more, more, want more of a designer jean, but isn't, gonna, isn't looking to spend $200. And most of these jeans do retail for right around $200. And somebody that doesn't want to spend $200 is going to pick up a pair of Adriana Bullish jeans for around 50 40 bucks. Then we go to Joe's jeans. Joe's jeans are a good solid pair of jeans. Again, mid-range. They're going to sell. Same price point. Um, what I like about Joe's jeans is that people look for these jeans. People want to find Joe's jeans. They want to buy Joe's jeans. They're just a good brand. And um, I just sold a pair of the Rebels for uh, $75, and that was a full on sale, no offer, and they just sold straight out for 75 bucks. And other than that, I usually get around 40 to 50 for the Joe's jeans. So keep an eye out for Joe's jeans in the wild. Next, we have DL1961. This is another solid uh, designer denim, and um, they retail for about 198. Some can go for 250, a little higher. Some go a little lower, around 175, but they average around 198. They're very well-made jeans. They're very um, fashionable. They're very trendy. Um, they're, they're, they're slimmer cut jeans, so they're going to be a little skinnier, most of them. And that's good, because that's the style that's on trend right now. And again, I will price these at around $75 to $85. And I'll take around $45 or $52 for them. That's the goal. Next, we have BKE. Now, this is on the lower end of the mid-range denim, but still, good, still a good pickup, because you can still sell for $40 to $45 on these jeans. Um, they're made by Buckle, and they're a good solid designer jean, um, probably right around college to the to the 25-year-old age range for these type of jeans. Last pair I sold, sold for I think $40, I have them pictured above. And the last pair of jeans on the mid-range section is going to be Hudson. Hudson jeans are a very solid jean, and I price these a little higher. I price these, these are close to high end, that's why I saved them for the last in mid-range. Hudson's can go for... $75, $85, $105. I've sold Hudson's for $65. Depending on the condition, new with tags are going to go for more. But you can get a good $65 or so for Hudson's if you price them right. They're going to sell like high-end denim. They're a popular brand and people want to find them. So again, that's mid-range. Priced at around $75 to $95. And you can sell them for anywhere between $30 and $55, sometimes higher. Now we're going to move on to the high-end denim. This is the denim that I priced at between $105 and $165, sometimes even $200, $250. These are the, this is the denim that you're going to want to look for. It's very rare to find, but you're going to, when you find it, you're going to be able to sell it extremely well. People look for this denim. They want to find these brands, and they're going to sell extremely well. The first brand I have on the high-end section is Diesel in the high-end category. So Diesel jeans are very are very sought after jeans. People love them. They're looking for them. And you can get 75 to 100 bucks for diesels depending on condition and the cut and style. Next on the list, we have Affliction jeans. Affliction jeans are very popular. Think Jersey Shore, think that crowd. The ones with all the embellishments on the back pocket, those are the ones that are going to sell the best. Affliction can sell anywhere between $65 and $85. And you're going to want to keep an eye out for those. After Affliction, we're going into Rag and & Bone. I love Rag & Bone. I just found some Rag & Bone the other day in the store. Um, all Rag & Bone will sell, but we're talking about denim today, so we're going to talk about the Rag & Bone jeans. Um, they're handmade, they're tailored, they're made in the USA, they're very good quality jeans. And some Rag & Bones can sell for $250, $300. The ones you're probably going to find in the thrift store are right around $198 to $250. And um, they will sell extremely well. So keep an eye out for Rag & Bones, you won't regret it. Next we have Rock Revival. Rock Revival is another style of affliction, uh, in the affliction type denim. It's got the embellishments on the back pocket. It's got all the, um, the jewels and the bling. And again, it's gonna fit in with the Jersey Shore crowd and the clubbing crowd and the people that like to show off with a little more fancier look. And um, Rock Revivals will sell anywhere between 85 and 150, depending on your cut, your style, your trend, and if it's new with tag or something like that. So you can sell Rock Revival for a pretty good profit. The last pair of Rock Revivals I had sold on eBay. So the, these Rock Revivals that I'm picturing in the video today are not my listing, but I included them so you guys can take a look at what they sell for. 
Next on the high-end list, we have Robin's jeans. I love finding Robin's jeans. I've only found one pair in the wild. They are a longer sell selling item. They're going to take a little bit longer to sell. Um, you really got to do some target following and get the right people in front of them. When you do that, you can sell them for upwards of $100. You want to look for the ones with the patches. There's a lot of, a lot of Robin's jeans with patches and styles like that. And just stressed again, but the patches and the embellishments are what you're looking for in these. Those are what's going to sell these jeans. So that's going to do it for high end. Now, on to the item you've all been waiting for. The final high end pair of jeans where if you are lucky enough to find these in the wild, you can sell these jeans for upwards of $250, $300 depending on, on uh, the trend and style that you have. And these are Balmain. It's a French designer. They make these biker jeans, which are all the rage right now. They have all the elastic around the waist and around the calves and hips to keep the jeans tight to your calves and waist so that when you're riding on your motorcycle, you won't get caught up in the uh, loose denim. And they're called moto jeans for that reason. Those are the style that I see selling very well. You can notice the black tag on the back of the jeans that always says Balmain. They are highly fake, so keep, it, keep that in mind. You're going to want to do your research when you find a pair of Balmains and make sure that they are legit. But if they're legit, you hit a home run and you're going to make a pretty penny on those jeans. So that does it for my first denim bolo video for men's denim bolo. These are all men's brands. You can find most of these brands in women as well, but we're talking specifically men's denim today. Um, Again, the low end, you want to price at around 45 to 55 and sell at 20 to 35. Mid-range, you're going to want to price at 75 to 95, so you can sell them at 30 to 55. And high-end, price around 105 and up, and they'll sell from anywhere between 55 to upwards of two $300 if you find the right pair of jeans. If you guys have enjoyed this content, definitely hit that thumbs up button and give us a like. And if you're new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe. We put out great content like this every week and every Friday. We are live on YouTube. You can ask us your questions, talk to us, and get in touch with us every Friday night at 8 o'clock. And until then, you guys have a great day, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye now.